what are the tables inside this table 1 table 2 table 3 what are the table inside this we'll see for that i will go and write show tables okay this will actually list all the tables in the database currently i am into which database currently i am into amazon database in the amazon database if i go and see the show tables nothing is there nothing is there why it just no i created yaar one minute back only i created i just created the first step of database still i don't have customer information still i don't have product information still i don't have the transaction information simply i just created just now just now so nothing is there nothing is there okay now let's do one thing i will open a simple excel okay now i want to create a database uh, database is created now i want to create a table so let us say this is a structure this i will call it as a customer table okay so this why i am creating like this now the first step is to create the customer information database is created the next step will be customer information i have to create a customer information but now whatever i am creating is table what i am creating is a table so how to create a table is a next question this is a table okay like this like this i should have created the data for vinay also the column name is going to the customer name for kiran also the co column name is going to the customer name this is a generic column for every record if i want to put it in this different way you are also having a name i am also having a name you are also having a age i am also having a age you are also having a date of birth i am also having a date of birth all those are column information record will be your record and my record but but column is something which is going to be same for everyone even if you it's going to be same even if it's me everything is going to same okay now let us see let us see our second step is to now i have created a database amazon db in that i need to create multiple tables to the next one now the database is created now i will go and create a table so now i need to see what is a syntax what is a command in what way i need to tell the database to create a table i cannot speak in english i have to speak in a language called sql in sql i will tell my system hey can you create a table for me can you create a table for me in that table maybe you maintain a information like since we are working with amazon so what is a customer id what is a customer name what is a customer location what is a customer phone number can you store this in your day table for that can you create a table structure this is a syntax okay now again if you see again if you see the terms or maybe the words which is in blue color i will tell it as a keyword i will tell it as a keyword if you use this keyword only then database will understands okay i need to create a table for create a database what was the syntax create database database name here it is going to be create table table name okay shall we go and create it okay the syntax for create database was this one create database database name now what i will do create table table name again this time this time i will be suffixing with 
instead of db i will suffix with tb table table okay syntax is this one but i need to give the structure i need to give the structure what i will do first i will put one bracket and i'll put one bracket here okay so within this within this i want to write i want to write what is required what is required okay see till now you try to understand semicolon i am writing at the end telling that that is the end of the statement i will go and see create table table name what are the configurations you need what are the columns you need customer id customer name location customer contact i will go and write customer id customer name customer location customer contact these are the four columns i required customer id customer name customer location customer contact okay now there is one problem i created a table within the table within that bracket i am mentioning whatever the columns i need okay now the next thing is what type of data that will store what type of data it will store for example customer id could be like this okay can any as anyone seen name like this not at all the name should be in the name should be in character as anyone seen customer location being like this maybe pin code is different but now i am talking only about the location is it going to be like this no it is going to be string only customer contact contact should be like this only have you ever seen contact being like this have you ever seen so what i want to know for this column what type of data that has to sit that is something which i have to mention okay for now i will give something called integer integer okay so this is a integer number what is integer some number oriented data okay now coming to customer name so after this after this this is my first column right customer id is a column name everything has to be a name table has to have a name database has to have a name Co column also should have a name customer id is a column name this 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 is a column name which is going to be same for each and every one of us so that name i'm giving what type of data that has to sit i am giving int integer okay and the maximum length is 20 maybe this is like this one this is the maximum length i can accept okay that we will see later that we will see later for now i have given this now i will enter comma i'll go to the next one customer name this type is string string maybe in database we have something called Backcare. Backcare. Okay. So maximum name of a customer can be 50 characters. For me, okay, Kiran. K I R A N. Five characters. Vinay. V I N A Y. Five characters. Like that. Store me 50 characters. And that has to be in a string format. Give it as varcare. Now done. Enter comma. Go to the next one. This is a column name. Column name, data type you have to give. Data type you have to give. Maybe I will give varchar 50. And the final one cannot be varchar. It has to be number. So maybe I will give int of 20. Something like that. 
now i don't see any syntax i don't see any syntax error okay say suppose for example i mention like this maybe i'll get some error the cross mark okay that will tell us there is some error but now there is no cross mark as such so this is a syntax for creating a table i repeat i repeat the the syntax for creating a table will be create table table name inside that open bracket and close bracket give me all the column names what are the column names student id student name gender now now column name is fine what type of column it is that is where our concept comes like data types what type of data it will support whether it's going to support integer whether it's going to support character or it's going to support any numerical values okay don't worry about the data types you have a separate session for data types okay now don't get into confusion hey what is this int what is this var care what is this care don't get confused now my current objective is to create a table only in table i need to see what type of column it is what type of data type it has to support but don't worry don't worry we have a separate session which will be covering about the data types when you have to use which data type that and all i will tell you for now just remember i need to create a table i need to create a table let us see this table has been created now this table has been created now this data is not there okay the structure is something which i have created and what is the syntax this is a syntax line number 20 to 25 is creating a creating a table what is the syntax create table which is in blue color which is a keyword customer tb is a table name okay and what is that you are seeing customer id customer name customer location customer contact four different columns and for all four different columns you are giving the data type that data type will be integer var care var care integer just it is telling what type of data it has to store there that is called it's a data type in the show tables i can see there is a customer table created customer underscore tb tells us this table is created to see the content in the table okay select star from customer tb i'll tell you what is a star but now you and you imagine like select information star is information select information from this table is what the meaning of line number 30 if i select this if i run this i will get to know the complete information of the table what is a table 2 table 2 is having product information in if you go to amazon what are the products you may see you may see iphone samsung phone ed phone some grocery items or some electronic items everything you can see that product information has to be stored in one table i am not clubbing with the customer table customer table store only customer data you keep that customer into separate shelf come to product product you keep in the separate shelf don't mix up customers and product two different set of records now i will go and create a product information okay for simplicity purpose i will go and create one excel for you okay what i need i need product id product id okay i need i need product name i need mrp mrp 
okay this i'll put it into one table this i'll put it into one table okay so this i'll put it into one table so i want this table to be creating so i cannot club this with this one this is a customer information this is a product information now i'll go and create this as a product php this is a db this is a table 1 this is a table 2 now let us see how to create this i create one more table for you see the syntax create table product i have told you tables will be suffixed with tb a best standard way put bracket close the bracket end the code in between write whatever columns you need the first thing is product id the second thing is product name the third thing is product mrp mrp okay now create table is there table name is also there okay column name is there column 1 column 1 column 1 but now i need to give the data type i need to give the data type let us put integer some 10 i'll give i'll go to the next line so comma is important product name product name in iphone samsung vivo phone mi phone it is in the text format i'll give var care i'll give var care some 20 i will give okay and price is there price also cannot be abc can a price be abc mrp no definitely it has to be a number i will give integer there is no syntax error if i put one extra bracket maybe it will throw an error but if i use this properly i am not getting any error i repeat create table table name column name data type column name data type column name data type column name is like this column name data type is what value it has to sit there like if someone is entering the records what type of value it has to sit there that is something data type okay now i'll create this okay it's created now i'll go and show the tables two tables is created product id product name product mrp this is what product id product name product mrp product mrp this is a structure that has been created this structure i can see here as well very simple syntax create table table name put a bracket close the bracket between that write the column name data type column name data type column name data type i have created one more table now called called product in this i will store only the product information like what is a mrp what is the name of the product that i will store it here my record will be there your record will be there everyone's record is going to be present here because everyone are amazon users there is no person who is not using amazon everyone uses amazon everyone uses amazon so obviously everyone's information will be stored here next class what we are going to see is how to enter the record customer id 1 customer name customer location customer phone number how to enter this record that's it.